my channel, guys. I'm Cherry, and this is, ooh, I'm wearing the wrong thing. <sighs> Purples doesn't really flatter me. So I just do my hair in so I can do this quick video. Two videos to make. I've been struggling with a stomach bug. And no, it's not COVID. I get it every year. Because this chick likes to go outside without being fully warm. Hands not covered. I have a hat on, but yeah, I get the stomach bug every year. Does you not work around kids? Kids get me, get me, get me sick. So I wanted to show you that these ornaments I made. And um, these are what I made for gifts. I made one. I made these. I love the ribbon. And I used my Cricut to do the lettering. So, and I used that ribbon. And see, I have a, this is for my fam, um, my kid's grandmother and that side of the family. Husband's, ex-husband's side of the family. And this is with the other ribbon. And um, I did show you, I'm showing, I'm gonna put in here different clips up from Christmas. We didn't, I didn't open gifts. We didn't do the, you know, cause we don't have any money on. Why don't I show you what I got for my son? I thought this would match because I got these from Fabletics. But my son got me this. My oldest son bought me. I love the color. And I thought this would match. But it might go with it. But yeah. I love it. You know. I wanted to um, show you that. And then Oh man, my one student, I love the card. Oh, uh, she got me, I got another gift card for Target. She, I got one from them last year. Now I can get the dog food storage that has a bulldog on it, English bulldog. And then my beautiful, my beautiful future daughter-in-law, Abby. Oh my God, this is so soft. I'm gonna put that on my bed. And then I think that was it in this bag. So, hey, how are you stuck? She's a hot mess. My, my very close friend that I'm close to, my next neighbor, but she's leaving in February, made me crochet this in a few days for me. Isn't that pretty, guys? So, yes, that's going on to my couch out there because we, I love to have crochet things out when comfortable things over. So, I'll put that back here. So, but. I'll stick it up there. And then a couple more gifts from my students. I have more gifts coming. My daughter got me something. I love this. It's an ornament, guys. It's a disco ball ornament. It's from one of my uh, student, Faith. And then I got candy, which I don't need, but I appreciate that. That's well, definitely on my tree. It's still up. And then. They must know me. This is from my other student. Candy. More candy. <laughs> I'll probably let the kids have it. Uh, like I said, I'm dealing with a Sunday book. It's not good. And then I got this candle, Sunday candle. Mmm, smells like Christmas. It's apple cinnamon. So I have a goal in my room because I collect candles, actually. I, that's a tidbit you did not know about me. But I wanted to show you these. Um, I'm just going to go because I got to find my other part. To show you what I got for, a little bit of things I got for Christmas. My daughter got me things and my other close friend, Marlene, got me something too, she said. Wanted to show you my um my ornaments I made. And I'm add at the end of this different clips of my, um, of my oldest twins. Um, gingerbread house with my gingerbread house that we did at the other night at his uh, girlfriend's Abby's house with her family I had a ball and then um I did a clip to uh, show you how I did the, uh my baked I baked uh, brownies I stuck it in a Chinese gift box and I attached the ornament to it the kids I, I got pencils and pens and um their ornament and their little goodies gonna go in, in it but I'm about to shut it of course um, I'm still work. I'm baking their brownies the day before we go back to school. So they have it fresh from the oven. So I think that's it. Yes. Yeah, so 
I was gonna show you guys how to make eggnog, my, how I make eggnog, but I have not really been in the Christmas spirit. Like, I don't have little kids anymore. My grandkids are in New York and Delaware. So, you know, I just made everybody goodies and ornaments. I love making ornaments. This, that's the second year I made ornaments. And I think next year, I'm gonna do one with a panda on it next year. I'm gonna start, I have to start ahead, of course. So, and Hobby Lobby has those ornaments all year round from what they told me, which, it was weird because I never knew anybody to make ornaments all year round. If you do, if you know someone that does, let me know. I don't, it might be great because I'll just buy the more ornaments and make ornaments for this year for everybody. So let me know what you think. And um, I'm about to make another video on my Ipsy bag. And I also got my pop fit leggings in front of this month. My um Ipsy bag came late, guys. So I just wanted to show you a quick video of what I've got. And I'm about to make the next video. I am so sorry. I I noticed that I've lost a few subscribers, but I'm not a, a just a strict reaction channel. I am on a weight loss journey, and I'm showing you all aspects of my life right now. There's no football. I can't show you how I'm on football. Mom. Um, and I'm making a video on how to show people how to show football moms, teach them uh, about the game quickly without them having to read a book about it. And sometimes their hu their husbands, the fathers don't even know football. They're never played it in high school. So, you know, that's what, something I'm in the works for. And I do have the paranormal um, videos that I recorded. I'm just trying to figure out how to put them together because it's just clips here and there. Um, I do have proof hell hands do exist. Even though a lot of people don't believe in this stuff, but I'm into the paranormal. I'm a football mom. I'm a mom of five. I'm on a weight loss journey. And I do react to those ladies, but I'm not going to react all the time. I just want to feel like people should like me for how I react to this, just to those people. I want you to react to who I am as a person. React to my um, misadventures and my adventures in my life. You know, um, if you don't like it, it's, you know, it'll hurt my feelings if you even subscribe. So, you know. Like, I do the squats every day because I'm doing it for cancer. Hey, Amber Lynn Reed got cancer and she don't do nothing for cancer. So, you know, I'm doing something for somebody else because I know people that have it really truly is affected by cancer. And I can't wait in the near future. Oh, I can't wait to meet this young, young man that, um, I think he's five or six. He's a, a permanent um, football team member. And I can't wait to meet him because he made it through brain cancer. And he, and he had literally died on the table and they brought him back to life. And I want to meet his beautiful mother. She's um, she's graduated from that same college. So that's going to be in the future. You know, um, so right now COVID like, is limiting everybody. You know, except for certain YouTubers who got who make millions of dollars can go out and party and, and not wear masks and do whatever they want and get away with it. But, you know, but that's how it is. And um, I'm enjoying a few days off too. You know, I've been vlogging every day unlike other people i've been vlogging since october every day i was supposed to take november like only upload a couple times a week i upload more than people that make mink Amberly reed only uploads barely three to three times a week it, you know there's times that she went on a six week hiatus she's went on an eight week hiatus i mean nobody gets on her nobody like unsubscribes from her from her shenanigans but yet yeah, i don't make i don't talk about these reactions these women i miss a few you know i don't talk about it for a week and i'm them subscribing i'm subscribing well if that's what you're looking for i'm so sorry that's just not me okay i'm into this positive weight loss i'm not into being a, a, a mukbanger i'm not into lying about losing weight being a liar being a racist being a scammer that's not me so if that's what you're looking forward to i'm not going to be part of the infamous four nonsense none at all but i do have some videos um that i do want to react to it's just right now i'm just i'm tired i'm brain dead like i didn't really sleep last night i have i have, I have the stomach bug my dog even is sick so she's you know having issues so please bear with me i mean people are not giving me a chance at all because i'm not making constant um reactions to things that's not what my channel is about and I told you guys this before. I'm about me and how I feel. I use them as as uh, 
example of why you shouldn't be obese. This is my whole point of it. I don't get it. Why people don't like me anymore because I haven't dogged out or ridiculed or demeaned anybody. I don't get it, but that's not me. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. But like I said, I'm under the weather right now. I haven't, I'm still vlog, I'm still doing you two videos a day and showing you that I'm still working out. I'm still working towards my, my, um, you know, my weight goal. You know, I told you in March, I'm going to be, you're going to see a totally different me. Like, I'm not going to be completely, I don't, I don't have I'm all my weight off, but you're going to see a change. You will see a change. But like I said, people want somebody to, to disrespect somebody else on YouTube. I'm just going to say, I'm pointing out the truth of what I see. And that's what my commentary is about. So if you don't like it, what do you want me to do? I'm, I'm not here to please everybody. I'm here to tell my story, tell you my side of what, why BCD has killed me and why I think all this stuff is bull when it call, comes to being obese, why these ladies should not be glamorizing it. So you guys have a great, um, it's Monday night. Yeah. Well, like I said, I'm on like 11, 12 day break from my one job. I am working this weekend, like four days straight this weekend. Because money, money will be there. But I've taken today off, tomorrow off. I might take Wednesday off. Um, we got to pick up my son's knee brace on Thursday. So, and I get, I fuck, I got excited. My, I get paid earlier this week, so. Yeah, and they have an out-of-town friend coming in. So, I got to, you know, I want to scrub down the house. Because, since you know, I don't want, not like we're dirty and anything like that. But I just want to make sure it's sanitized and everything before he gets here so panda if you unplug anything this dog is such a mischievous little foil panda i don't know what she's sniffing for guys i wish she was sniffing for gold i would love to have some gold <laughs> so but yeah it's a little bugger but i'm about to make another the other video i'll show you what i got for ipsy and everything so uh i look like a hot mess because i do feel like a hot mess i just do the hair and just so i look a little bit different so you guys have a great night. I hope you enjoyed um, seeing what I got. I'm still getting more gifts. So I'll show you that probably in a later video. I don't know. Um, like I said, I'm not about gifts. I'm more about I'm a, more of a giver than a receiver. So you guys have a great night. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, guys. Welcome to my channel. This is my cornbread stuffing. All you do is take some breakfast sausage, you brown it, cook some cornbread, and then, let me show you, I, I just cut up some green pepper, throw it all together, and stick it in your turkey. That's all it is. And I'll show you some, um, what it looks like when you combine them. Okay guys, this is what the stuffing looks like mixed together. I'm just gonna stuff my bird. And that's it. It's that simple, guys. And this is better than stove top, so don't let Amberlynn re fool you. She always tries to eat that stove top stuff. Like, I mean, it is good, but it's not the real stuff. Yep, that's all it is. It's cornbread, stuffing, a sausage. Cornbread, I'm sorry, let me repeat that myself. <laughs> cornbread from the cornbread mix. Sauce, breakfast sausage. And I cut up some green um, peppers and I season it. And I'm about to stuff my bird. That's it, guys. All right, guys. My bird is stuffed. As you can see, I seasoned it. I don't have no chicken seasoning. I forget, I get poultry seasoning on me. So I'm about to stuff her in the oven. So that's what it looks like, guys. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my gingerbread house. And this is my son's gingerbread house. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Yes, I had to show it to you guys. That's what we did the other night at his son, at my son's girlfriend's house. Yep, you know we have to have a football everywhere. <laughs> this is ornaments I made. This is the one for my girl, my son's girlfriend. And these are the boxes I put the goodies in. That's my son's, and they're pretty. Let me know how what you think. Mind my coffee in the background, but yeah, I didn't do so bad. Yeah, I was gonna use this glitter, but I decided just to put the tinsel on the inside with their name and put the ribbon on top. 
Let me know what you think, guys.